Welcome my friends, this is uh, HP 840G1 laptop. My name is Irvin, also known as Coveman. Welcome to my channel. If you have this type of laptop, this is a perfect video for you because I will show you how to install a solid state, solid state drive on it. And just to open it up real quick, just so you guys see that it's the exact same laptop that you have. If you have the same laptop, then you're in the right place. If it looks like this, just like this, then you're definitely going to benefit from this video. So what we're going to do is install one of these drives. This is a Samsung 860 EVO SATA 6 gigabytes, gigabits per second drive with a newest technology which is VNA and D. So what does that mean? That means it's the latest and the greatest. Of course, um, Samsung is not... Of course, the reason I'm using Samsung is because I had a really good experience with it and this is the only thing I can recommend when it comes to solid-state drives. If you're interested, there is a link in the description box below for the exact same one. Right now, this, eight, eight, this, is five, this 500 gigabyte one is around $75 US and the one terabyte one is around $150. So the price is going to vary up and down but nonetheless, it's a very good deal. It's a good time to upgrade to solid state drive. So that way you can increase the performance and also the space. These do come as an optional solid state drive, but if you do get one, it's 128 gigabytes, which is not good enough. We need more space. And of course, if you have a regular magnetic type of drive, then you're definitely gonna to want to upgrade to a solid state. So in order to remove this bottom plate cover, it's super simple. We just have to make sure this is unlocked. It was already unlocked, so we're just gonna slide it towards to the right or away so we see the red. Once we see the red, we're just gonna slide this that way and just pull it up. Super simple, no rocket science there. First thing we gotta do is remove our battery so we don't cause any short circuit. Similar to our back cover, we do have to unlock it right here, make sure it's red. And this one is, there's another one here, but it's on a spring, so you have to kind of hold it like that and then pull on this little convenient tab, like so. And now your battery is removed. Now we have direct access to our solid state drive or where our hard drive typically goes. There's just four screws. And of course it says here solid. I'm sorry for interrupting this video. At this point, I'm just talking about an option of different type of solid state drive that you can use. However, these are not readily available, so don't bother even looking for them because I don't want you to make a mistake and buy the wrong one. Just buy the standard one that I showed you earlier. Thank you. So don't go purchasing something like this. This is an amazing drive. This is also the latest 97, 970 Evo NVMe M.2. However, this one is too long. It would not fit. So super simple, make sure you have a Felix head, Phillips head screwdriver, and then we're just gonna unscrew four of these. These do have self-retaining little springs, so they're not gonna fall out or anything. So just keep going at it. Of course, carefully not to damage anything, but you can see they're not gonna fall out, so you don't have to worry about the little screws falling in. And the last one here. And from there, we have to pull it that way. And similar to our battery, there's a little tab that we can pull on. So we're just gonna pull that way. And it's gonna separate from here. So feel free to tug on that. Well, I put, wait, <laughs> I put a little too much force on that. Anyways, you can see what happened there. It separates like that. You can see the little arrow that's pointing inwards. This is a good way to tell you which way the solid state should go. And then you just pull it out as so. From here, you just unscrew these screws here to release the drive and then you pull it out. As you saw, these do fall out. No big deal though if you lose one or two of them. I mean, it's not like it's going to hold anything heavy in. These are all plastic, right? I mean, the, the solid state drives are plastic, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, now that you're done, you just have to pull that out like so. And what was inside 
is this solid state drive which is 128 gigabytes that's not big enough by the time we install our so by the time we install our operating system I don't even know how many of anything we can install program wise afterwards so definitely want to upgrade to something like this again this is a Samsung 500 gigabytes uh, 500 gigabytes is plenty for most people and again one terabyte is really cheap nowadays 150 bucks link in the description box below we're gonna put it like that we make sure that our arrow is pointing the correct way put our screws back on Okay, reverse, just drop it in like so, it's plastic, you don't have to worry about any putting any stress on this because it's not a mechanical or anything like that. Once you drop it in, make sure it's kind of loose like that, no big deal, and you just push it in, just reverse, make sure it goes all the way in, tighten your screws back up. Don't force anything, there's really no need. We just don't want it to start moving. Matter of fact, if I stop right now, it'll be perfectly fine. That's why I said, even if you do lose some of the screws, it's all good. So with the drive installed, all we have to do is just put our battery back in. And so make sure it just kind of slides in like that. You just make sure that these little notches go in underneath that. Push it down, this locks right away. Make sure you lock this. Put the lid back on in reverse like so you just have to kind of make sure just just drop it in and just go like that pull it towards yourself lock it back up and there you have it guys don't forget to share this video I'd really appreciate it like it if you have any questions feel free to ask them this is what I'm here for so don't hesitate to ask any questions if you go watch my other videos you can see that I make it a mission to actually work with people and help them out with any questions that they have I have time for that, so please do ask them. Thank you so much. I wish you best of luck, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.